Google, define oddity. A strange or peculiar person or thing. Maps take a lot of time to develop, even in the final stages of a map's development, a lot can change. For example, this part of Gully Wash is called Water because in previous versions there used to be water under the point. This naming didn't change when the map reached the final stages of its development. Something that also didn't change over the development was being able to shoot through the shutter door. Almost anything can go through the shutter. Grenades, rockets, jars, hits can, put a spell, you name it and it could probably go through. This happens because the invisible door brush that actually makes the sliding door work doesn't cover all of the door correctly. And even if the slide door is covered correctly, the door frame is still set as non-solid, which means you can still shoot through the door frame. Another thing with Gully Wash is that the map is different on what side you're playing on, with this lamp only being there on red side, making Gully Wash something of an asymmetrical symmetrical map. Although Gully Wash is definitely not the worst offender in this, with Granary being even worse. Numerous spots on blue side are not the same on red side and vice versa. Most of these unsymmetrical places are caused by the different materials and building style, with red using more natural materials, like wood and grass, and blue mainly having more industrial building, with more concrete and metal. The reason I bring this up is that most of the gameplay changes with asymmetry has to do with the architecture of the teams, or it's just a case where the mapper forgot to mirror the map correctly. Also, to quickly interject here, competitive leagues have specific rules that prohibit players from abusing perch spots in the rare case that they aren't available on both sides of a symmetrical map, as to make it so that one team wouldn't have an advantage over the other just because of the team color they choose. Another thing with team colors are these overlays, usually used to indicate health or ammo. They come in red, blue and white. There really aren't any rules for which color to use for health or ammo, or even team side. Even Valve made maps are inconsistent on this. And for Badlands, there are no health or ammo overlays at all. And it's not even that one set of health or ammo doesn't have an overlay, there are just no overlays on this map at all. It's also funny to think that in 2016 and at the end of 2017, Badlands had some updates to make it more balanced where they just could have easily added these overlays, but they just never did. And King of the Hill Badlands does have overlays, so why this isn't a thing on normal Badlands, I have no clue. Also, there's just a hole in the ceiling here. I think everyone knows by now what a pixel walk is, but if you don't, by wiggling into a wall you get about 0.03 units closer to said wall, and can stand on some sloped clip rushes that are specifically made to prevent players from standing on them. Although shit is an all fun game, if we get 0.03 units closer to any wall with a clip rush that prevents players from getting stuck on doors, we'll actually collide with the outer tip of these clip rushes. So if you're really unlucky, you could get caught by a clip rush that was specifically put there to prevent players getting stuck on geometry, although it would be a very rare occurrence. It's quite easy to fix this with the same way to fix normal pixel walks by putting the clip rush one hammer unit into the wall instead of just flush against the wall. And now this results in movement always being smooth, even in the rare cases of being 0.03 units closer to any wall. Another thing with movement related to brushes is a texture bug. By holding W and either A or D and then swapping to the opposite strafe key you're holding right as the top of your bounding box passes in a changing clip rush. Your vertical speed gets reset to zero before falling down again. Note how I said a changing clip rush, because it's not a changing texture but a changing clip rush. Let's take this spot in snake water, where there is no texture change but you can still do a texture bug. As we can see in the hammer map editor, even though this wall all uses the same texture, they aren't all the same clip rush. The easiest way to find places that you can texture bug on are doorways, overhangs and texture changes as these are most often two different clip rushes. The simple explanation of why this happens is source pick heady, and the complicated explanation is from swapping from A to D, the engine fucks up in some kind of way and thinks the player is actually on top of clip rush and sets your vertical velocity to zero before checking again and realizing that you're actually not on top of the clip rush and letting the player fall again. I didn't really know where to put this, but sometimes doors on maps don't really lead to anywhere or just don't make a lot of sense. Sometimes this is actually a doorway in old versions that just got turned into details rather than a flat wall. I think this clip from the map maker of Steel sums it up best. Again, this is like one of these things that I like talking about. This is probably something that was a thing at some point and then they closed it. But you know, you don't just close it and remove it. Yeah close it and you turn it into a detail. It's a bit of a story. If you look at lots of maps, you can see things like that. I know Valve does it and I do it as well because it's kind of like a win-win. You can have a little bit of a story inside of the map, as I say, like vestigial slash um, archaeology, like level archaeology, where you are wondering why certain aspects of the level exist or remnants that exist. And sometimes it's it's a case of like, well, they did use it and it was a part in the level. It's not not everything is a, a detail for the sake of it. But then you get things like this. It's a detail, 
but it's a very well aligned detail that makes me think that at some point this was actually this was actually a, a, a some sort of doorway that you could travel through in an earlier an earlier uh, version of it you know for this next part of the video i want to go back to what i said at the start of this video Maps take a lot of time to develop, even in the final stages of a map's development, a lot can change. We can actually see this the best on map stamps, as it looks like Valve just takes a workshop screenshots and edits them into a postage stamp, and doesn't update the Im image whenever the map maker sends them a new version of the map. And yeah, Valve doesn't update the community made maps, the makers of the maps do. Okay, so I guess someone at Valve really likes Snake Water because this is the second update they put out for Snake Water this year, and it's bigger than the last one. The only map stamps I noticed old versions on were the 5CP maps, as they usually have developers that update the map regularly based on community based feedback. Also, one really interesting one I found is the menu photo of DC Hydro, which shows the old control point holograms. The control point hologram has a lighter color, and this overlay on the close doorway is different and for the rest the map looks the same and for the last small thing if you want to support the creator of your favorite map you can buy these map stamps that only cost under one euro and all of the money will go to the map makers